Hey everyone, it's the start of the Qatar World Cup, an event that very much like Britain's financial mess has been years in the making and which will likely end up with England doing very badly. This is a football tournament being played in the desert because the governing body and corruption go together like copy and paste, which is coincidentally the method by which those ballots were printed several years ago. I was going to say they go together like gin and tonic or beer and football, except that brings us to the next point, which is that alcohol is going to be banned at this year's tournament, much to the chagrin of Budweiser and of fans, all because, once again, they're playing it in a punitive Islamic state where even George Best would be scared into sobriety. At least I think that's how the law works, Sarah. You know, we've all heard the stories about how it's a brutal justice system, but then I heard someone saying that when it came to shoplifting, the police were very hands-off. Either way, the absence of any beer makes me feel bad for the England fans. How, after all, are they supposed to drown their sorrows when they narrowly scrape a nil-all draw with Wales? The next item of contention are, of course, the actual stadiums, most of which will never be used after the tournament ends, and all of which were built to emulate other grand Middle Eastern projects like Babylon or the pyramids, in so much as they're all very flashy, and they're all built by tens of thousands of slaves and prisoners. The government there has come under international pressure to disclose how many migrant workers died during the construction phase, and no number, of course, has been released, but if you ask me, it's a brave person that eats the stadium hot dogs. For me, the one good thing to come out of this tournament is the fact that questionable teams like Iran might actually be a force to be reckoned with this time around. They are, after all, used to playing in that sort of weather, unlike, say, France or Germany. And this is Qatar's first appearance at a World Cup, getting automatic qualification in exchange for hosting the thing. I'm not really too sure if they're any good, and nobody really knows too much about them. I asked a friend if he could name any Qatar players, and he responded with Eric Clapton, Brian May, and Jimmy Page. Oh no, the whole thing's probably going to be a mess, but as a one-off experiment in excess, I'm kind of vaguely looking forward to it. And you have to kind of admire the FIFA officials who have to defend every single twist and turn of the farce on an almost daily basis. Especially FIFA president Gianni Infantino, who deflected from the topic of human rights abuses by claiming that Europe was apparently just as bad, and then going off on a bizarre meandering rant. I quote, Today I feel Qatari, today I feel Arabic, today I feel African, today I feel gay, today I feel disabled, today I feel a migrant worker. Blimey, I can only assume with that strange list of self-identification he's going to be applying for a job with either the BBC or Nicola Sturgeon after the tournament ends. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.